Hey guys, this is going to be my 30 week and um, free days because I'm doing it a day late. Um, pregnancy vlog. If I keep fiddling with my hair, I warn you now, it may annoy people or whatever, just don't watch or something, I don't know. But my fringe, because I'm trying to grow it out, it's always in my face, so I probably will keep fiddling with my fringe. So I'm just getting that out now because people always complain, but I can't help it, it's, it's just in my face. So um, try and ignore it, um, if you can. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so weight gain and measurements. My belly is now 40 inches, I think. Yeah, 40 inches. Um, I think. Obviously, this was from Monday, so a couple of days ago. Um, and my weight gain, total weight gain, is 22 pounds, um, which apparently is fine for this far along um, and everything, so I'm on track with my weight. Symptoms. Um, I'll go over some of them quickly and then some of them in more detail, but heartburn, backache, mainly lower backache, but that's due to the position he's in because he's posterior, which apparently causes low lower backache, um, so that's probably why. Pelvic pain, round ligament pain, uh, frequent urination, which obviously speaks for itself, dry skin, <clears throat> um, itchy chest is a new one actually. For this past week, my chest has been extremely itchy. Obviously, it's just because it's growing or something, but um, it's so itchy, and I've tried oil, like stretch mark oil, all over my chest, because <clears throat> I use that on my belly anyway. hasn't really stopped the itching, but um, I suppose it helped a bit, but I would have to do that now because it is so itchy. And I think Kai's awake. I'm going to have to make this really quick if Kai's up. Um, but... Um, yeah, so that's a new one, which is really annoying, because you can't itch your chest in public. I mean, people would think you're weird, so it's kind of annoying to have it in an inappropriate place. But, um, yeah. And then lack of sleep, again, that's, you know, I've had that for, since the second trimester began. I don't sleep. Um, it's only getting worse, actually. Some nights I wake up ridiculous amounts of times, and other nights it'll be a few. But I always wake up at least two or three times a night. Um... Just, I don't even know why, I just wake up, turn over, go back to sleep, do the same thing throughout the whole night pretty much. Um, yeah, so those are symptoms, cravings, the only one I can think of is milkshake, like strawberry milkshake. Um, that's really the only one I suppose. Um, his movements are a lot stronger now, obviously as he's bigger as well, they actually hurt sometimes, it depends where he's moving sometimes it's like he hits a nerve and it hurts um if i have a full bladder it really hurts when he moves <clears throat> obviously so um sometimes it can be quite painful but he he moves all the time and i thought kai was an active baby kai was more active at night time like kai would not move at all during the day really i mean he would but not a lot he would then be active from after dinner till like stupid o'clock in the morning he would be active basically in the evenings whereas this time um, he's, <coughs> he, um, he moves throughout the day, like, I feel him move after I eat, generally, like, throughout the day he'll be active, and then he's less active at night, he's still active, but he's more active just all the time, really, like, throughout the day I feel him move, whereas if Kaya didn't, didn't have that, um, Oh, and his name, we're calling him Charlie for now, um, we don't have an exact name, we're just calling him Charlie for now, and if we find one that we prefer between now and when I give birth, then we'll change it, but for now, it's the only name we've agreed on, so he's called Charlie for now, um, but yeah. Um, what else? I've got my whooping cough vaccine tomorrow, um, and if you don't know what that is, obviously it's for whooping cough to protect your baby against it because they're only old enough to get the vaccine when they're eight weeks old and if you've seen on the news or whatever recently loads of babies have died that are younger than that age because obviously they're not old enough to have it there's been like a massive increase so they're saying advising that all pregnant women have it so i'm getting that tomorrow um, which protects them up until they're eight weeks till they're old enough to have the vaccine themselves so i'm getting that tomorrow um I had my anti-D injection last week, um, I had more blood taken, which I have like a bruised arm from it as well. Um, I had my midwife appointment a couple of weeks ago now nearly, um, and everything was fine, it was just like a routine appointment. 
you know, they check your blood pressure, your fundal height, etc. Which my fundal height was measuring right on track. Um, and I did the glucose test, but I don't know my results. They haven't told me. They said I'd get a phone call, but I haven't. So um, I assume they'll just tell me at my next midwife appointment, which is two weeks' time. So um, I suppose I'll find out then. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, what else? The only other thing we need to talk about is the hospital visit I had, which um, was last week, Halloween, so last Wednesday. Um, I didn't feel him move all day, which was out of character for him anyway, like I said, because I feel him move all the time. But I kind of left it to the evening and thought, well, if he, if he moves after, like, you know, like I had something sweet as well. I tried different foods. Um, I even had, I don't know if you, well, it depends what country you're in, but there's these drinks called Naked. They're like organic um, fruit drinks. I had the green one. It's like, I think green machine and blue machine or something. The green one, they put vegetables in. It's like vegetables and fruit in it, but it's really, really good for you. Um, and I had that because obviously it's natural sugars, but it's still sugar. So I thought maybe that would get him awake because it's like a fruit juice. Um, that didn't do anything. Um, obviously I had food anyway. That didn't do anything so I didn't feel him move at all. So obviously I was getting a bit worried. So I tried loads of stuff to try and get him to wake up. Nothing worked. Um, so I phoned the hospital and they said to come in. So I was in there till about half one or something in the morning having a stress test done. They just um, monitor... Um, the baby's heart rate um, for half an hour to make sure he's fine, which he was, it was fine. And then I had to come back the next day um, to have another stress test and that was fine. And a scan just to make sure obviously, which everything was fine. So they just said he was obviously having a, a lazy day. Um, you know, just one of those days where he didn't want to move as much. Oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, which, Obviously was worrying to begin with, but once they said everything was fine, I was kind of just like, oh, okay, you know, maybe he was just having a lazy day. But obviously I did the right thing to go in, they said that, so that's fine. Um, and I had the ultrasound to check, <clears throat> and they did confirm he was head down, which I already knew he was. But um, like I said, I think at the beginning of the video, um, this video, that he's posterior. Um, he's head down, but posterior, whereas they're meant to be head down and anterior to give birth, I mean, you're meant to be, they're meant to be in the anterior position, obviously he's got loads of time to move, so I'm not worried at the minute, but um, <clears throat> that's why I've been having lower backache, because apparently if they're posterior, you tend to get more backache, because of the extra pressure on your spine, so uh, yeah, and also as he's head down, I'm going to the toilet all the time, obviously, but um, I think that's most stuff, oh, and at the ultrasound, they said he was weighing about £2.12, I think, Something like that he was weighing. Obviously it's a rough estimate, but um, yeah. <coughs> so I think that's everything on my list. Um, I was trying to get it done quickly because obviously this video would be way too long. Um, so like I said, or I don't know if I did actually. My memory is so bad. But um, I will be doing a my next pregnancy vlog. It won't be until after my midwife appointment. So you probably won't actually see it until... I'll probably be my 33 week update, so yeah, I probably won't be doing my update till I'm 33 weeks, because I see the midwife when I'm 32 weeks and 5 days, I think, so when I'm nearly 33 weeks I see her, because um, they're only there on a Thursday, and I don't turn a new week until Saturday, so yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that won't be up till I'm like 33 weeks, um, basically, so that's when you'll next see a pregnancy vlog, but I have got a whole list of videos I want to do. Um, but um, I've got, I need to do Kai's update, I need to do a nursery tour, um, I want to do like a flat tour as well, but um, there's still stuff I need to get actually. Um, I want to do a day in the life video, but I may just wait to do that until I've actually had Charlie, because obviously everything's going to change. I mean, if you want to see one now, what I do, and then see how it changes when I have Charlie, then, you know, leave a comment if you want to see that. Um, I like watching Day in the Life videos. I mean, I don't know if anybody else does, but I personally like watching them. But, um, and I try and do it on a day that I'm doing something more interesting, not just in all day kind of thing. Um, which is why I haven't done one so far, because um, the only days I do stuff is Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Obviously I do stuff on the weekend, but um, I mean during the week. That's the only days I do stuff, when it's just me and Kai here. 
but if you want to see one now then let me know and or if you just want to see one when Charlie's here because I will be doing one when he's here because everything's going to change obviously to what I'm doing now because obviously there'll be a newborn to look after but yeah I do want to do one of those um obviously I'm going to be doing hospital bag videos in the next few weeks <clears throat> in fact that will be up around the same time as my next pregnancy vlog so in fact the week yeah the following week so once I've done my 33 week vlog the hospital bag videos will be up after that because um Charlie's bag's already packed but that's because I have everything I've, I've got to go and get all my stuff which I'm doing in two weeks time so um yeah so that will be up as well um I'm going to do a video about breastfeeding I mean there's loads of videos I've got written down that I want to do so um there will be videos still up just um my pregnancy vlog won't be for another few weeks um yeah and I'm not sure what's going to happen over Christmas um whether I'll be doing vlogs because um you know I won't be doing one I suppose I will I suppose because I'm living here now by myself but um I'm not sure what's going to happen over Christmas time really um obviously Christmas time's busy so I'm not sure how many vlogs are going to be up in December but I'll you know nearer the time go over that but yeah that's it for now I'll do a quick belly shot um just stand up so yeah it's the front and the side so yeah um yes yeah, so I think that's it um so I like I said I'll be doing some more videos but the next pregnancy vlog you won't see for another few weeks um I think I suppose that's it so any questions or anything then feel free to ask um and you know you can leave them in the comments or inbox me whatever you want to do um for ideas you know if you want to see in a daily life video you know what videos you want to see i suppose because i don't want to do videos that no one's going to actually watch but um i have got a list of videos i want to do anyway so yeah but i suppose that's it so yeah bye